did a video recently where I demoed how you can easily install Windows 11 on unsupported PCs using a utility called Rufus. Click on the link above or in the description below if you want to check out that demo. And I got a few questions after that video about whether you're still able to receive Windows updates if you run Windows 11 on an unsupported PC. On Microsoft's website it says installing Windows 11 on an unsupported PC is not recommended and may result in compatibility issues. If you proceed with installing Windows 11 your PC will no longer be supported and won't be entitled to receive updates. So note the wording there. It doesn't say you won't receive updates. It says you won't be entitled to receive updates. Award-winning technology journalist Ed Bott, who has covered Microsoft for more than two decades, wrote an interesting article on the ZDNet website where he emphasises that wording from the Microsoft site. And he doesn't believe that Microsoft will punish its customers for running Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. I'll leave a link to the article in the description below. With all that being said, let's try Windows Update and see if it works. So first of all, I'm just going to run Microsoft's PC health check just to confirm that we don't meet the minimum specs. I'm just going to click on check now. And we can see here that the PC doesn't have secure boot. It doesn't have a TPM chip. We only have three gigabytes of RAM and we don't meet the minimum requirement of 64 gig of storage. So this PC falls well below Microsoft's minimum system requirements. We'll close this and then I'm just gonna right click on the start icon. We'll go to system. And then I'm just going to scroll down and click on Windows Update. And we can see that there's three items to install. We've got three updates available. Security Intelligence Update for Microsoft Defender, KB2267602. We've got a July 2022 Cumulative Update, which is KB5015818. And we've got the Windows Malicious Software Removal Tool, which is KB890. 830. Let's go ahead and let these install. We've not had any error messages or warnings so far. So let's see if these install okay. Let's go ahead and click on install for the other two items. So these three updates seem to have installed successfully. We didn't get any error messages, no warning messages. All seems fine so far. The system wants us to restart, so let's go ahead and restart. And we're back on the desktop. I'm just going to go back into Windows Update and just see if there's any more updates. I'll click on check for updates. Sometimes you can install some updates and then restart and there's some more updates available. It's a good idea just to keep running uh, Windows Update until there's no more updates available. So we've just found another update for uh, Microsoft Defender Antivirus. So that update is just installed, we'll just click check for updates again. And now we're right up to date. So that does indeed appear to confirm that Microsoft is not blocking updates for unsupported PCs. But let's compare that to a PC that does meet Microsoft's minimum specifications and see if it offers us the same updates as the unsupported PC. So here I am on a PC which does meet Microsoft's minimum system requirements and this was installed at the same time as the unsupported PC. So let's run the PC health check tool and just confirm that the specs meet the minimum requirements. So we can see here that yet yeah, this ticks all the boxes. It meets all of the requirements for Windows 11. So let's go ahead and run Windows Update and see if it offers the same updates as the unsupported PC. So as you can see, it's offering us exactly the same updates as it offered us on the unsupported PC. These are exactly the same KB versions. There's three updates. I'm just going to go ahead and let these install and restart. We've restarted and we're back at the desktop. I'm just going to run Windows Update again until there's no more updates being offered.
Okay, so we're right up to date and you can see there that we've been offered the exact same updates on the supported PC as we were offered on the unsupported PC. So thank you Microsoft for not blocking Windows updates on unsupported PCs. Hopefully you found that useful. Leave a comment if you have any questions, comments or feedback and hit the like button if you enjoyed the demo. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And that just leaves me to say thanks for watching and bye for now.